Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.15 from the chapter number 5. The problem is, list a state table for the JK flip-flop. We have to consider a JK flip-flop using Q as the present state and next state output and J and K as the input. Then we have to design the sequential circuit specified by the state table and so that it is equivalent of figure 5.12 so this is the figure 5.12 so we have to find or we have to design a jk flip-flop so that we can realize or we can have the same circuit as the as this one so now let us do this so first of all we have to find out the state table so here we can say that we have feedback from the outputs okay this present state out these are the present state output and then we have to find out the next state output q of t plus one now we'll have three types of input variables so because we have this one feedback from output side and we have these two inputs so we can have eight number of combinations here we will have for the present state zero and the inputs are zero zero in the case of jk flip-flop we have no change for zero zero input we have no sense so what we'll have we'll have the same output as this present output so the next step will be same as the present state so we'll have zero here when we have j is zero and k is one we'll have reset this is the functioning of a jk flip-flop okay so we have to reset the output so we'll have zero here then we have this is j is equal to one and k equal to zero we'll have the output is set Next we have 1 1. When we have 1 1 input at the j and k inputs of a jk flip-flop, we will have the complement of the previous state. That is, this present state's complement will be the next state. So here we have 0, so we will have the complemented value that is 1. So here we can write that this is set and this is complement. We have to follow this process here also. So for 0 0 we will have no change. Here we will have 1. Then we have this 0 1 when we have 0 and 1 we have reset so we have to write here 0 then we have 1 0 so it is set we'll have 1 here okay so next we have 1 1 so when we have 1 1 we have complement so we'll write here the complement of this present state so we have 1 here so we'll have 0 now let us find out this characteristic equation so here we'll have three variable came here. So here we'll have Q and J and K. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this one is Q. These two columns are J and these two columns are K. So we have to put this Q of T plus 1 values. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So here we'll have 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So we'll have this one is one combination. And here we'll have this second combination here. So from here we'll get Q of T plus 1 is so from this time we'll have J Q bar J Q bar plus from this combination we'll get it is K bar Q K complement Q. So we are adding here a DQ to provide the clock. The, and the output will be same because the deep flip-flop gives the output whatever it gets at the input. If we draw this circuit, so here we have JQ bar plus K bar Q. So suppose we have suppose J input and K input. So J will be applied to uh, N gate. Here also we will have another N gate. We will have to give K bar. So I am using here an inverter. So here we will have K complement. Then we'll have to add these two. So you say or get. So here we'll get J Q bar plus K bar Q. Now we have a deep flip flop. Okay, so I apply this output to a input terminal of deep flip flop. Okay, so here we'll have D, here we'll have Q, and here we'll have a clock. So here we'll have the output Q and the complemented output Q complement. Okay, so this complemented output we have to apply here because we have JQ bar 
okay so take a line from here and apply to this above grade and we, are, we have here k bar q so here we have k bar we have to multiply with a q so this q is feedback through this line and apply to this end gate okay so this is the circuit diagram now if we compare this circuit with the circuit of figure 5.12 we can see that it is the same circuit here also we have j k and gate and gate we have or gate one and we have this deep flip flop and they are connected like this so we can say that this circuit is equivalent to figure 5.12 okay so this circuit is circuit is equivalent to figure 5.12 a okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you